Unavoidable stresses like drought, salinity and temperature, together with pathogens and insects, make 91% of landmass unproductive. Nature, however, has just the right tools to come to that. It only needs to be looked for and understood. An innovator did just that. A story from the Deccan Plateau, the seed and steel capital of India, Jalna in the state of Maharashtra, shows how it all happened. The duo who turned adversity into opportunity are Dr. Anup Karva, founder of SFPL Crop Life Sciences Private Limited, operating out of Jalna in India, and Rusty Rodrigues, the founder of Adaptive Symbiotic Technologies based at Seattle, Washington. Once when the rain was erratic in this central part of India, the team made an unusual observation. Dr. Anup Karwa and his team noticed increased shoot and root growth besides higher chlorophyll content in the stressed plants. But how did this unusual trait come about? They did not tinker with the genes of the plants. They did not apply special fertilizers. They did not water. Then what did they do? Well, they set out on a journey of some 2,000 kilometers and collected hundreds of plant samples from very unique locations like the desert of Kutch, sand dunes near the Pakistan border, closer to the Jaisalmer region and Barmer, and the samples brought to the lab. Processing them for several years, the team succeeded in building a library of bacteria and fungi and checked for their efficacy in conferring stress tolerance. Anup Karwa and his team then selected the most promising bacteria and fungi and inoculated them into a large number of plants at the lab level. When the conclusions were drawn, they all confirmed the hunch. They did confer stress tolerance at the seeding stage when tried out in the field. BioEnsure and Bioresilience, therefore, is a proprietary mixture of natural stress-tolerant symbiotic microbes for conferring abiotic stress tolerance in plants by coating seeds. The scientific mechanism is that this microbes uh, establishes a symbiotic association and help the plant tweak the uh, carbon utilizations. And this tweaking is done by the microbes. It's interesting that initially the carbon is invested into the root system until the secondary root hair is formed and thereafter the carbon is diverted to the shoot. This diversion directed by the microbes allows enhanced growth under stressed conditions. And because it is a symbiotic relationship, in return the plant offers nutrients and carbohydrates for the microbes to survive. We have enabled this uh, symbiotic associ association through our product which then uh, is able to confer uh, a very sustainable stress tolerance mechanism. In the US, field tests have been done at more than 300 locations across 28 states, covering numerous soil types and climate zones. In India, over 100 replicated field trials, over 50 small trials and over 20 pre-commercial trials are being conducted. And here is a comparative evidence of how the product Bioresilience shows on the cotton field here at Jalna. We have our own sales and marketing team since uh, last one decade catering over uh, 10 states of India through uh, a retail network of over 1500 retailers. With this fermentation facility able to produce 5000 litres of the product within a week, SFPL Crop Life Sciences is looking at scaling up not just for India but for other countries who face similar challenges. <laughs> <laughs>